Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are gonna be trying out a brand new line from L'Oreal. I actually was not planning on filming this video and I was at Walmart to try to gather um, some products for another video that I was planning to film today. And I walked down the Walmart aisle and I saw this display. I'll put a little video right here. I took a video of it so you guys can see. It's the new Age Perfect line from L'Oreal. And the campaign images were beautiful. They were geared toward more mature women, which I feel like is a market that a lot of brands don't really cater to, you know, like especially not at the drugstore. I've seen brands at the drugstore do like skincare items for um, women with more mature skin, but I have not seen an actual like makeup line geared toward mature skin. So I was super intrigued by it. The products looked beautiful. The display looked beautiful, the packaging and everything. So I ended up buying one of everything that I saw and that's what we're gonna be trying today. So obviously I know I do not have mature skin, you know, I'm 20, what am I? 25, I'm almost 26, you guys. But I thought that I would try out the line anyway and just see how it wears throughout the day and how it performs because um, even though it's geared toward more mature skin, I'm hoping that it will work on my skin as well. And hopefully I'll be able to see if it settles in any of the fine lines that I do have so I can kind of give my opinion on that. But yeah, there's so many beautiful products, you guys. There's a foundation, concealer, blush, powder foundation, mascara, brow pencil, and some lipsticks. So let's just get right into it. I'm gonna start off with the complexion. This is the new foundation from the line. This is the Age Perfect Radiant Serum Foundation. Um, it has a broad spectrum of SPF 50 and apparently it's full of antioxidants and it's more of like a serum kind of foundation. I think the packaging is so pretty on these. Okay, I picked up the shade Ivory 10 and I'm not gonna put any primer on the skin. I'm just gonna kind of draw some squiggly lines on my face. I don't really know how much coverage this is gonna offer either because most women with mature skin probably just want a little bit of tone correcting if anything. Um, it's not so much like full coverage to cover up blemishes necessarily. I'm gonna go ahead and clip back my hair even though it's tucked behind my ears just to make sure it doesn't bother me. I'm actually gonna be using the Tati Beauty Blendful to do my makeup today. I thoroughly enjoyed using this. If you didn't see my review video, I will have that link down below. So I'm just gonna start to blend this out using the Blendful. So, so far I feel that it's very lightweight and you can see that it's kind of correcting the tone but it's um more of a light coverage, at least with this first layer. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and blend out the foundation on the forehead as well. Yeah, this is super, super lightweight. It feels very hydrating as well. I do have some dry patches on my forehead, so I'm kind of paying attention to whether it sinks into the dry patches or not. After I've kind of distributed the product, I'm going around the face and just kind of pressing it into the skin a little bit more. Okay, so there's one layer of the Age Perfect Serum Foundation. I definitely feel like it has a nice natural glowy finish. Um, it offers good coverage, but it's not um, unnatural coverage. Like obviously you can tell that something is on my skin. It looks really nice, but you can still see certain areas like where I have blemishes that are still showing through, but like it looks very, very fresh, very skin-like. Honestly, this is kind of the thing that I was hoping for when I saw this foundation. It looks really beautiful on the skin. Don't you think? Okay, I don't know why, but I feel like I'm most excited about this right here. Well, okay, I guess all the complexion things I'm super excited about, but here is the concealer from the line. So this is the Age Perfect Radiant Concealer. I grabbed two shades. Um, I picked up the shade Ivory and Creamy Beige. So I'm gonna take the shade Ivory first. And it's kind of the same uh, packaging as the Maybelline Fit Me as far as like the slimness to it, but of course you get the gold cap instead of the black. Um, I'm just gonna kind of dot this underneath the eyes. I'm not really sure how much I'm gonna need. Okay, and then I'm gonna take the shade 205 Creamy Beige, and I'm gonna use this to kind of spot conceal any areas that I want a bit more coverage. And then I'm gonna take my Blendiful, and I'm actually gonna use the same part of the Blendiful that we used for foundation. And I'm just gonna press concealer into the skin. I'm gonna start off by blending out the darker shade of concealer. I wanna make sure to get around the nose because I usually get quite a bit of redness there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and blend out the under eye concealer. This also seems to be very, very lightweight. It also has quite a bit of freshness to it. Do you see how dewy that is? I think that's really, really nice. It feels hydrating as well under the eye. I'm like trying to move my eye around <laughs> to feel the texture, but it feels really nice underneath the eyes. I'm gonna take what's left and just gently apply some to the eyelid to kind of cancel out any discoloration there. Well, wow, look how dewy that is. It's definitely more of like a serum-y kind of a line as far as the complexion products go. 
which I feel like is what most people with mature skin look for, right? You don't want something that's gonna be too drying or something that's gonna emphasize any fine lines. And this is something that is lightweight, so it's not gonna sink in as much. And it's nice and dewy, so you can leave some of the areas unpowdered and it's gonna kind of give you that natural lit from within highlighter look almost but without using an actual highlighter so so far so good you guys all of my mirrors are so dirty i need to clean them <laughs> it's like so hard to see what's going on because they're all so dirty so here we are with just foundation and concealer i really am impressed with how things look right now okay the line also has this creamy powder foundation. So I'm assuming that this is gonna add a little bit more coverage to the look. Um, I grabbed the shade 300 Ivory and I want to use this kind of more in just the T-zone because that's where I tend to get oily. I'm gonna flip the Blendiful over and then fold it in half again and use this part right here. And I'm just gonna dip right into the product and I'm gonna start by applying it right here in the T-zone. I'm not gonna go under the eyes quite yet, just because I might use a loose translucent powder for that. I'm just pressing this down into the skin. It's definitely adding more coverage. Hmm. I'm not sure how I feel about this quite yet. I mean, it looks pretty. It definitely has more of a radiant finish, but it said it was supposed to like blur and smooth, and I don't know how I feel. Well, it looks like really pretty in the monitor, but I definitely can see my pores pretty clearly right here. Maybe I'll just add a bit more. Okay. Not too shabby. I'm gonna go ahead and set the chin around the nose and we'll go ahead and powder the side of the face as well. All right, I'm gonna take that same powder and press it right here in the middle of the forehead because that's where I tend to get oily. All right, I flipped over the Blendiful and I'm using the same side that I used to blend out concealer just to kind of make sure that there's no um, product in the fine lines underneath my eyes. And I'm gonna take a little bit of my Thrive Cosmetics translucent powder, and I'm just gonna lightly press a bit of this underneath the eyes to set. Same thing on this eye, and I am bringing it down into the T-zone a little bit. Yeah, I just feel like this powder is doing a little bit of a better job smoothing than the other powder did. I'm wondering if I just were to use the powder foundation like on its own versus trying to set the liquid with it, if it would be a little bit better, but I'm already liking how everything is looking by just setting everything with translucent powder versus um, that tinted powder. I'm gonna pat out the creases on the eyelid and use the same brush to set. I'm taking some of that Thrive Cosmetics powder on the Blendiful and I'm just pressing that around the nose to make sure that there's no separation there. I'm just gonna take a bit more powder and kind of lightly set the rest of the face. I'm not gonna powder it quite as much as normal. I just wanna make sure that the coverage stays for me. Okay, I'm gonna warm up the complexion a little bit. I'm just gonna use my Milani Silky Matte Bronzer. Um, they did not have a bronzer in this line, but I always like to wear a bit of bronzer, you guys know. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this on the perimeters of the face. I'm just kind of pressing this into the skin all over the face and lightly blending it into the existing products. It's honestly still shocking how well this blends out products, especially like powder things like this. Like it works really well. All right, we're gonna move on to brows. This is the Age Perfect Magnifying Brow Crayon. And I picked mine up in the shade Soft Brown. It has a spoolie on one side, which I love. And then the other side is just a wooden pencil that looks like this. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and fill in the brows with this pencil. Okay, it seems to be applying very nicely. It's a little bit waxy. A lot of pencils from the drugstore have a bit of that waxy finish to them. But this one is applying like really nicely to where it looks very natural. And I feel like it's not so waxy to where I don't have control over it. Like I'm able to really create nice looking brows with this pencil. Wow, that's really nice. Obviously we're gonna have to see how well it wears on my face. Wow, I'm actually more impressed than I thought it was gonna be with this brow pencil. I feel like it looks so natural and so soft. The color is very forgiving. Um, that's one thing that I usually don't like with a lot of brow pencils is the shade typically doesn't work for me because it has a little bit of like a reddish undertone, but this one does not. This is the shade Soft Brown. Did I already say that? I'm just saying it again just in case you're wondering. And it's a great shade. Wow. Okay. I really, really liked the brow pencil. All right. So far, so good, you guys. Like everything seems to be looking really fresh. I'm really into it. Okay, I think my other favorite part is probably the 
blush. I saw all the colors and this is the one that really drew me in initially. So I picked this color up first. There's more colors. So if I like the formula, I definitely will go pick up more. This is in the shade 410 Rosewood and it's so good. Like I can already tell the shade is just so good. So I'm going to go ahead and take um, another blank side of my Blendiful and I'm going to dip directly into the pan. I'm going to tap off a little bit of extra in my hand and then I'm going to smile and just press this onto the cheeks to add color. Oh, how pretty. It's such a nice rosy pink shade. I'm going to take a little bit of that and just kind of run it through the crease of my eye just to add a little bit of color there. Wow, I really like that color a lot. And it definitely has a bit of a glow to it. I mean, I'm sure you can kind of see it in all the products on my face, how there's a bit of that radiance, which I really think is nice. And I don't think I'm going to apply any um, highlighter because of that. I kind of just want to keep it as is. I'm flipping the Blendiful over and just kind of blending the edges of the blush just to make sure it's super seamless. Wow, I really like this. So I should have picked up the eyeliners. I just never really wear eyeliners, but I know so many people do. I should have picked up an eyeliner. I'm gonna have to try those in another video. Um, I actually picked up two colors of their mascara though, because I was really pumped about this mascara. It's the Age Perfect Lash Magnifying Mascara and I picked up the shades black and brown. I wanted to use the black shade for um, the top lashes and then the brown for the lower lashes. The packaging is so nice on this as well with the gold cap. Um, so this is the black shade. So I'm gonna start off with this on the top lashes. Seems like a very standard applicator, nothing too crazy, nothing that you would have to get used to. And I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this to the top lashes. And let's see if there's any like special things about this. It says it's supposed to volumize and it's supposed to condition the lashes with um, a serum and jojoba oil. And it has a very delicate brush. Yeah, I feel like this is really nice and soft. Ooh. It also says that it's like really easy to remove. It's safe for contact lenses and suitable for sensitive eyes, which is nice. That went on really, really well. Obviously a wear test will tell me whether it smudges or flakes because I can't handle that with any mascara. So there's the top lashes. I'm gonna go ahead and do the bottom lashes with the brown version of this. I love brown mascara. Here's what that looks like. And I'm gonna go ahead and apply that to the lower lashes. Okay, so last but not least, out of the line, I picked up two of their new lipsticks. Um, they were two different formulas. I just picked up one shade in each because I figured, you know, if I end up liking the formula, I can always go back and get more. Um, we have the Age Perfect Just Normal Lipstick. Uh, I'm gonna look up what these are called because they're two different formulas. Okay, one formula is called the Luminous Hydrating Lipstick. It has a serum in the inside. So if you'll see here, there's a little nourishing formula in the center of the lipstick. So that is that formula. I picked up the shade 102 Bright Mocha in this. And then we have the Satin Lipstick with Precious Oils. And that is this one right here. And I picked up the shade Glowing Nude, which I'm so excited about this color. Look at that color. Oh my gosh. Okay. So I think what I'll do, I'm a little more excited about this color, but I'll try on this one for you guys. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply that shade all over the lips. And I'm gonna kind of blend it together. I could definitely feel like the hydrating serum inside, but I kind of felt like it left the edges a little darker than I would have wanted. Okay, once they're applied though, it's a lot more forgiving. It's a very soft lipstick. It kind of looked like it was gonna be pretty intense based off of the outer color, but you can really sheer it out if you would like to, which is good to know. So that's that first formula. And again, this is the shade 102 Bright Mocha. This was the lightest shade in this range. I'm gonna go ahead and remove that. And we're gonna try out the other formula. And again, it's the shade Glowing Nude. And I'm super excited about this. Yes. Mm. Oh wow, it's such a silky formula. It's very, very lightweight, very hydrating. I'm just using my finger to kind of press it in. Wow, it's an extremely lightweight lipstick, but you still get that pigment there. I really, really love that shade. Oh, that's such a good lipstick color. Oh my gosh, isn't it? And the formula feels so nice on the lips. It feels like it's locked down, like it's gonna stay for a while. I mean, I guess we'll find out once we do a wear test, but it feels both lightweight, but also like it's gonna last a long time. And it's also hydrating, but not like too slick. I really like this so far. Okay, so for me personally, I always have to set my brows. I'm not gonna worry about doing like a setting spray today because I really wanna see how the complexion products are going to last. I'm just gonna use my Benefit 24 hour brow setter to kind of feather up the brows. I really liked how that brow pencil applied. I'm just gonna take the blush portion of the Blendiful 
kind of add a little bit more to more of the apples of the cheeks. And then I'm gonna use the um, bronzer end of the Blendiful just to kind of add a bit more to the top of the forehead. I feel so fresh in this makeup. I feel like I'm gonna leave it there, but I really like how everything looks. Um, based off of my first impressions right now, the only thing that I'm not loving is the areas that I applied the pressed um, creamy foundation. I don't know if it was meant to be layered on top of the serum foundation. I feel like I would have liked it a bit more had I just used translucent powder on the areas I wanted to with the Age Perfect foundation. Um, with that being said though, like things look pretty fresh right now. I really like the brow pencil. The mascara looks nice. I mean, we'll see if it's anything super special by the end of the day because we'll see if it smudges or flakes. The lip color I'm loving. Um, the serum foundation went on beautifully. The concealer went on really nicely. So I really like pretty much everything based off my first impressions. So we're gonna do a bit of a wear test. It is currently 4.23. So I'm gonna wear this for as long as possible. I really like the finish of the skin. Like remember, I did not use any highlighter and it gives such a beautiful fresh glow, which I really, really like because sometimes highlighter itself can emphasize those pores or fine lines on more mature skin. So I really like the direction they went with more of just like a luminous line to where you kind of get that lit from within glow without using highlighter. So anyways, let's do a wear test. Um, I'll do my first check in, in natural light and then we'll see how this wears throughout the day. I'm really excited about it and I feel like I look super fresh, you know? Yeah, I'll see you guys in my first check in. All right, so here is what the makeup is looking like right after filming. It's definitely very natural, um, very fresh, very dewy. Yeah, it just looks like my skin, but better. And it's super glowy. I'm kind of like nervous to see how it wears throughout the day because I don't know if it would just continue to look super fresh or if I'm gonna look like a grease ball at the end of the day. We will find out. I am so in love with the lip color and the formula so far. I'm excited to see how it wears and I'll keep you guys updated on that, obviously. But here's what it looks like in natural light. Let's do another check-in in a few hours. So I will see you then. All right, you guys, I am back and it is currently at 1246. It's almost one in the morning, which means I've been wearing this for about a little over eight hours. So let's talk about the makeup today. For an eight hour wear, I feel like this looks pretty good. It looked really good for most of the day. I feel like it's the past couple of hours that it's kind of starting to expire a little bit more. Um, I'm noticing especially it's starting to settle right here in my smile line. I have been smiling quite a bit today. <laughs> so it really did kind of settle itself right here. And then I'm also noticing a little bit of creasing and settling in my fine lines underneath the eyes. I was kind of hoping that it wouldn't do that, especially since this is geared toward more mature skin. So I am kind of surprised that I'm noticing you know, the areas where I have pretty prominent lines that it's settling pretty bad. But with that being said, it took a while to get there. Like it didn't immediately do that. It looked really good for most of the day. Let's go through each and every product, starting with the foundation. I'm actually really excited about this. I feel like I'm gonna get a lot of use out of it. I really loved the coverage. I loved how natural it looked and I loved how beautiful it was. And I loved like the kind of sheen that it gave. The shade was really great for me. I felt like the packaging was pretty. So I'm super excited about this in the line. I am actually equally as excited about the concealer, even though it's settling a little bit, I did feel like it added to that whole fresh look. So I'm really, really excited about these two products. I do feel like I will continue to use them because I really liked how my face looked for the majority of the day. I feel like this will definitely be like more of a everyday, no makeup makeup kind of products for me. It's definitely not one that I would reach for for more of a glam look, just in my own opinion. Um, the Age Perfect Creamy Powder Foundation. I mean, I feel like my makeup looks pretty good, but this wasn't my favorite based off of application. I feel like I'm going to enjoy using these products with just my normal translucent powders. That's just my feelings personally. I am gonna have to give this another go um, on its own and see how it does because I did like the texture and I did like that it was a glowy powder. So maybe I'll give it another shot, but based off my first impressions, I wasn't like crazy about this. The blush was so pretty. And this is the thing that has lasted the best on my skin, I feel like it really did have have such incredible longevity to it. It's still very pigmented on my face and I feel like I loved the color and it's gonna be something that's gonna sit right here on my desk. So super pumped about the um, blush as well. The mascara, like it looks nice, but if you look close, I'm not sure if you can really see it 
too, too well. It didn't smudge too bad, but little tiny flakes kind of got everywhere underneath my eye and even into my eyebrow because my eyelashes are so long that sometimes they touch my brow. So, you know, like I felt like it was a good natural looking mascara, but I'm not head over heels for it. It definitely flaked on me. So I would say that this is a pass for me personally. There are better mascaras that work better on me at the drugstore. Um, but I did like the effect that it gave. It was very soft, very fluffy, so I did like that. Um, but there was a little bit of flaking. It's not terrible, and it wasn't huge chunks, but it definitely happened more than other mascaras that I own. All right, so the brows were actually something that really impressed me, and I feel like I'm definitely gonna continue to use this pencil. I have a hard time finding good shades when it comes to brow pencils from the drugstore, so I'm super excited about this, and I felt like it gave a really nice, natural, fluffy kind of a brow look, which I personally really like. So I'm gonna be keeping this right here. Um, I'm not sure if I love it more than my um, Maybelline Ultra Slim Brow Pencil yet, but I'm gonna keep trying it out and see if I end up reaching for it more often than that. I'm gonna have to give the lipstick with the serum another try because I didn't wear it today, obviously. I wore uh, this one, but this one, you guys, oh my gosh, it wore off so beautifully. It's completely gone. My lips are so dry as well, but it wore off so nicely today. I'm gonna put on a little more. This formula is just so unique. It's extremely thin, it looks extremely natural, and it lasted a very long time on me. Like, obviously I did not touch it up throughout the day. Why are these lip lines so weird? Mm, that might be as good as it's gonna get right now. But I didn't touch it up throughout the day and it wore off really, really nicely. Um, I kept catching glimpses in the mirror and stuff and I just really liked the finish of it. I really liked the formula. I don't own anything like this, especially not from the drugstore. I just felt like it made my lips look like the color was almost coming from my actual lips, not actually a lipstick. I'm not sure if that makes sense, but maybe you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Like it just kind of smooths over your lips almost like a tint or almost like, maybe if you've tried the um, ColourPop Ultra Blotted Lips, but it's more like nourishing than that. It just kind of gives your lips a natural looking tint. So I'm super excited about this. The shade is stunning. I'm really excited to kind of explore more shades in this particular um, lipstick range. So I think that's basically it. I feel like this time of year, so many new drugstore things launch and it's always really fun for me to go through and try it all and let you guys know what I feel like might be worth your money. I hope you guys found that video helpful. Let me know in the comments below if any of these products um, interested you and also, I'm actually super curious. If any of you have more mature skin and you have tried this line, I would love to know your opinion on it, especially since this line is geared toward more mature women. I would love to know how it works on more mature skin, like how it works over fine lines, if it's smoothing, and if you like the finish and the formula. So if you've tried this line and you have mature skin, I would love to hear your thoughts on it. It would just be really interesting for me, and I'm sure other viewers would like to know as well. So that's it for me today. If you're new here, hi, my name is Allie, and I would love for you to join the family. You can do so by hitting the subscribe button. And if you're already a subscriber, but you wanna be notified on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, click on the bell after you subscribe and you'll get a notification every single time I post. I hope you have an amazing day wherever you are and I will see you in my next video. Love you, bye.